Yes, my peeps, we have another one today. Mitsubishi Outlander. I think this one is a 2015. And we have a auto light flashing there. And this is the auto button here. Press it. Now it's off. Start to flash. And we have a not an hesitation but uh while you're driving at say between 60 to 80 kilometers per hour you will have the actually i am doing this acceleration now but while driving it will do something like that while driving so we already have the launch all hooked up so we are gonna use the launch to just do a full scan but prior to this there is no light no there is nothing except that auto light flashing so i'm gonna do a bit of so it's an outlander yeah so i'm i'm just gonna check through like all the database and see what what codes if i pick up any so let's see so i just let that go uh, do its thing and then we will let's just go in the bonnet to see what it's look like in there Basically, I have to two few of the sensors in the in, in the bonnet here. I don't see anything out of sync. Things look tidy. All the sensors look intact. So, mm. let us see what the verdict is going to be regarding this light that is flashing all right We don't pick up any fault code in that database. So let us see what happens while well, we take it for a test drive. Alright, so I'm going to test drive it and see if we're going to have the same issue with the driving condition RPM is moving up and down, up and down, and I'm not, I'm not going any faster or anything. It's just doing it by itself.
So I'm going to turn on the auto stop now. And I'm going to come to a stop and see if it works. didn't okay so i've made several checks within the database i didn't see anything out of the ordinary so i test drive it again and do a scan of the ecu for the transmission system only and it didn't receive anything so i just clear it being nothing was there to clear however i still clear it Take it for another test drive the feeling came back that changing rpm so i rescan the database for the transmission only and i receive a code p0776 secondary pressure control the code from the database take it for another test drive there was no fault, no issue with it. It drives smooth and everything. I drove it for another, say, probably a mile. I see the symptom came back. I rechecked it again and I found that the code was there. I cleared the code again for the second time. Drove it for another, say, two miles. The symptoms were gone then after that it came back so i conclude that this is the issue with the change in the rpm so stay tuned for that video i'm gonna do a video on that one when i'm going to change the solenoid um i've made checks to get it um cannot source it so i would have to order it online so when i receive it i will just do a video on that until next time your boy genius here peace